Right, okay, welcome to this video. Um, through this video I'm just going to go over how to name uh, the common uh, organic compounds uh, that you might find, uh, especially in uh, level 2 chemistry NCA. Um, so let's get started. First, or the um, most common group is the alkanes. Uh, alkanes contain um, only carbons and hydrogens. Uh, they are saturated hydrocarbons. That is, they have uh, uh, the number of hydrogens is two times the number of carbons plus two. Um, when we're naming alkanes, uh, we look for the longest chain for a start, um, and we work out how many carbons are in it. In this case, there are four. That means that the uh, prefix for the longest chain is uh, but, and uh, we've got a, a group coming off our second carbon, uh, a methyl group. So our name is going to be 2-methylbutane. Okay, let's look at a more complicated one. Uh, so this has um, the longest chain is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we have two uh, methyl groups coming off. So our name is going to be pentane, but we're going to have uh, uh, the number. Uh, this methyl group comes off number two. This methyl group comes off number three. They are the smallest possible numbers we can have, uh, numbering it from the right. So we've got uh, two, three, dimethyl pentane. Right, so uh, the next group of organic compounds are alkenes. Uh, you can recognise alkenes, they have a double bond. Um, sometimes the double bond doesn't shine if it's in a condensed formula, and we can identify alkenes because they uh, have uh, twice as many hydrogens to carbons um, if there's one, alk uh, one double bond. Um, when we name them, we put the suffix "-ene", and we put uh, a number in to show where the double bond is. In this case we don't need it because a double bond can only come off the first carbon no matter which side it is, so this is called propane. Uh, the next one, the double bond comes off the, the smallest possible number we can have for our double bond is uh, 1, 2, it comes off the second carbon, so this is going to be uh, these five carbons pent 2 in. Um, notice also however that the hydrogens are arranged in their trans arrangement, so this is trans pent 2 in. Now we know we're going to have a, a trans or a cis or a geometric isomer if uh, the carbon on either end of the double bond has two different groups coming off it, which it does in this case. Okay, alkynes. Um, these aren't as common as alkenes uh, because of the, there's not so many possibilities uh, with a, a, a triple bond happening. Okay, so um, this case here, triple bond is going to have the ending ion and we've got five carbons, uh, triple bonds off the first carbon, so this is pent one iron. Alcohols, all right, uh, alcohols we identify from the OH group, or the hydroxy group uh, that comes anywhere off the alcohol. This one has just two carbons, so this is ethanol. Uh, this next example here, the OH group is coming off a, a second carbon, so it's gonna be um, uh, pentan, 2 uh, Notice this is also classified as a secondary alcohol because the carbon that OH is attached to is attached to two other carbons. Right, haloalkanes. Uh, here we go, here's an example. Haloalkane is a, an alkane that has a chlorine, a bromine or iodine functional group. Uh, this one has a chlorine, so uh, we're going to name it chloro. So we have um, uh, here, 2-chloro, two 2-methylpropane. Two okay. Next one is also a haloalkane. In this case we have a bromine, uh, which we name bromo, coming off the first carbon. So it's 1-bromobutane. Okay, carboxylic acids are real easy to recognise. They have this big chunky um, C double bond O OH group at the end here. Um, Pretty simple to name, we just uh, name uh, them depending on the number of carbons there are. We don't have to put a number in for the functional group because we always assume that it's on the end. So in this case uh, we have butanoic acid. Okay, with the end of naming part of this uh, carboxylic acid is oic acid. Amines, um, we recognise the amine from the NH2 functional group. Um, we can sometimes have an NH or an N functional group if it's a secondary or a tertiary uh, amine, but uh, we're only interested in the moment uh, with uh, primary amines. Um, now this NH2 functional group is coming off a of first carbon here, and so this is going to be uh, one aminopropane. 
Okay, um, let's have a look at some more molecules and see if we can name them. So if you just pause um, and then uh, uh, for each one of these ones, if you just uh, pause the video, have a go at naming them and see if you get the same name as I did. Right, so this one here is uh, obviously an alkene because it's got the triple bond. It's coming off the second carbon and there's four carbons in the main chain. So this is butane uh, 2 iron. Okay, this one here. Obviously, it's got this NH2 functional group. It's an amine. Coming off the second carbon, again, there are four carbons in the main chain. So that's a 2-aminobutane. Right, this one here. <laughs> a lot more complicated. We've tried to trick you there. Look, there's, uh, the longest chain actually has six continuous carbons in it. If we take this one down here, we have a, a methyl group coming off the third and the fourth, it doesn't matter which end we start from, it's off the third and the fourth in, in both occasions. So this here is going to be 3,4-dimethylhexane. Um, this one here, a, a wee bit tricky, again, a carboxylic acid. Now the, the key here is naming carboxylic acids is we always start our numbering from the end that has the carboxylic acid functional group. So in this case, our chloro is off the 4-carbon, so we have 4-chlorobutanoic acid. Okay, um, we look at this one, we see that, look, the major part here is this functional group is an alkene. Now we know it's an alkene, we've got to check whether it can be geometric iso uh, a geometric isomer. It has different groups off this carbon and different groups off this carbon, so it is going to be a trans or cis isomer. In this case, it's cis, so this is cis. Uh, pent Okay, so um, this one here, oh, look, I can identify what uh, the special parts are here. There's two chloro groups. They're coming off the starting from the right hand side to give us our smallest number, the second and the third carbon. So this is 2,3 dichloropentane.